Now dozens of AT&T workers are striking in South Florida. They've been out on the picket line all throughout the week, including today. Local 10's Hannah Yashibi is live in Sunrise this morning. Hannah, what are you seeing out there? Eric and Alex, it's been a week now that AT&T union workers have been out on the streets on strike. This group specifically is from the office of Fort Lauderdale and we're here in Sunrise. But just like this group, you can see people in Miami, in Hollywood, all the way up to Jacksonville and in nine different states. They're all protesting for a fair labor agreement. Across nine states, 17,000 workers are out because at the end of the day, we just want our fair share and want the company to bargain a fair contract. This group of union workers have stationed right in front of their AT&T office in Fort Lauderdale, demanding a fair agreement with the telecommunications giant AT&T. Well, our contract expired on August 3rd with AT&T, our working agreement, and the company has come to the table with representatives that cannot make decisions, and they've engaged... <laughs> And they've engaged in what they call surface bargaining, which is basically just going through the motions. Nothing serious, and they don't make decisions at the table. These guys are all members of the Communications Union for Members of America. Today, and for the past seven days, they've been hitting the picket line, something AT&T workers have not done for the last six years. They say they're just looking for a fair contract, and that this is an unfair labor practice strike. And we meet in the middle and we find common grounds and we move forward in negotiations. Negotiations are stalled. The company isn't um, necessarily budging or, or, or willing to negotiate fairly with, with, the, with, the, with the people on the bargaining team from the union. The union president says this is day seven and they don't plan to slow down. We took the trucks back to the yards, everybody got off their desk and they walked out. Everybody who's out on the line in front of a work center they have been unpaid for six days. We reached out to the telecommunications company. They got back to us saying, CWA's claims of unfair labor practices are not grounded in fact. We have been engaged in substantive bargaining since day one and are eager to reach an agreement that benefits our hardworking employees. It goes on to say we have various business continuity measures in place to avoid disruptions to operations and will continue to provide our customers with the great service they expect. But these AT&T workers right here tell me that because hundreds of them are on strike, not only here in Sunrise, but all throughout Florida, you may expect some delays if you're having any issues with AT&T. The representative for the company that's right here, excuse me, the representative for the union that's here tells me that there's a total of 10,000 union workers from AT&T in protest just in the state of Florida. So you can imagine um, all of the people have been here more than seven days and they tell me this will continue until they reach that fair labor contract. We're live in Sunrise, Hannah Yashivi, Local 10 News.